Hello and welcome to a brand new video from the Residual Royalty Academy. I hope you're having a very relaxing Friday and that you've had a great week so far. This is a channel where I show you how to make at least a thousand dollars, if not far, far more, every single month passively in royalties by publishing low content books. So in this video, I'm going to give you a general theme, not really a niche, more like a theme of multiple niches that's going to be great to publish in, not only during quarter four, but also probably up until like February, March, when the spring starts to come back round again. So unless you've been living under a rock, the fake news media has been spewing out more and more things about these whole supply chain and shortage issues. So this was, let's see, this was a couple of weeks ago now, but I believe there are now more than 70 ships stuck off the coast of Los Angeles and all these ships are trying to deliver goods into the United States. You can see a picture of it here from up in the sky and all these ships can't unload because there's not enough truck drivers supposedly and um, this is affecting all the supply chains, this is affecting all the food, all the products that everyone's trying to ship from China. So this is causing huge issues and it's not only in the USA this is happening. A quick look at BBC News and there's much more fear mongering going on here. Food shortages could be permanent, carbon dioxide shortage. It's all coming at us, it's all trying to make us scared. We don't need to be scared. So like I say, it's not only USA, it seems to be a worldwide thing. You can see more things on here. This is the UK news again. Uh, supply issues is energy prices to rise 34%. We need more truck drivers. Let's see anything else. Uh, energy crisis. I mean, it's all just fear, fear, fear. Be scared, be scared, be scared. However, we can potentially profit from this. So if you look at this book right here, this is a guidebook to acquiring food, stockpiling and storing, preparing for survival. I mean, the more the news puts out all these articles, the more everybody's going to get scared and start buying these books. So you can see this one here is ranked 23,000. Let's look at this over the last 90 days. And you can see as the news has been ramping up their fear, the book has been selling even better over time. So one year ago, it wasn't doing too much. And yeah, this seems just like a great niche that you can publish in. This is 167 pages, so that's what... This is probably around 30,000 words in this book. So if you can take the next one to two months, create a book like this, look at other similar books that are doing well, and we can do that right now, and create the best book in the niche, get some reviews for it, get it selling, get it marketing, get ads running, then I think you can do really well off this. So let's have a look if there's some others. Um, I did have to click on each individual listing because these... Uh, Chrome extensions are not working right now, so we can click on this one. Damien J. Moore. I think this is the guy with a really famous survival themed book. So let's click on this one, see how this individual one is doing. Paperback. Go down here. 99,000, doing pretty well. Independently published. Uh, just last month, September the 3rd, the start of last month. So this one is doing really, really well. You can see Amazon gave him a little price strike here, which really helped. And now the book is, uh, is ranked pretty well. It was even doing better before at 30,000 rank. How many pages is this one? This is 121 pages, so around a third less. So this is maybe 20,000 words. So if you can do something like this, you're going to do really well. And this is another theme that you could potentially focus on, which I was looking at earlier, canning and preserving, and maybe even something like Amish foods. So let's click on this one. Amish. Amish book food. This seems like an interesting niche. So what is going on here? I believe, you know, with this whole... Fear, all, all this rubbish going on in the news. People are actually going to start to want to live like the Amish. People are going to want to go off grid and just completely ignore everything crazy going on in the world. So yeah, this one isn't really selling. So we can just kind of skip this. Let's go back to the search results. See if there was any different Amish themed books. It's kind of annoying because we have to click on each one individually if the ranks don't load. Okay, the ranks are loading now, finally. So this is Homestead Canning, purely focused on canning. Amish community, 32,000, that's a potential niche. And you can see there's really not many search results or competing books in this niche. And I believe it was the same for this one as well. So 702 results, and that's in all categories. If we search books, I'm sure there's gonna be less. I'm way, way sure there's gonna be less. Yeah, 365. So that's a really great niche. There's not too many reviews. The search results are low and the BSRs are doing well right now and they should only improve as well. So Amish canning and preserving, that's a potential niche for you as well. Amish baking, um, you know, I might actually become Amish myself and just go and live on a farm and just kind of avoid avoid all these crazy people, you know. And before we take a look on Audible at the ranks over there, let's look if there's any more books. So this one, Food Storage for Self-Sufficiency, this is an old one, uh, ranked 46,000, that's really well. This one's doing 736. You'd maybe want to check out this Tony Nesta guy, see if he's like a celebrity, that might be why 
his book is doing so well. But if not, but if not, then this is an amazing niche to publish in, especially right now. Yeah, this is the guy that's been doing this for a while and he was kind of the first guy to do this whole niche. This has got a thousand reviews now, so hard to compete with, but you don't need to be the number one book. You can settle for a 20,000 rank. I think I would settle for a 20,000 rank as well. So that's doing really, really well. Let's see, keep going down. This one's ranked 6,000. Crisis Preparedness, 29,000. So yeah, this is definitely a strong niche. Consider Amish as well, consider canning, consider preserving, all those kind of things. And I also did a quick search on Audible for you with the BSR Master Chrome extension. The ranks aren't as great on here, but there's still sales to be had here and there. So you can see this one, 86,000, that's kind of okay. This one, Undefined, 16,000 here. So there is potential to get a few sales. It may not be profitable for a few months to publish on Audible. And what I mean by that is when you publish the book and you spend the money on the narration, you might not get a return on investment for a few months, but in the end you may do. So it could be worth doing. But at first I would just focus on these niches. So either like Amish and canning and preserving or on survival foods and surviving these whole crises that the news is trying to conjure up, which uh, I would say guys, honestly, I would say mostly that they're, they're for card. They're not real and uh, mostly their manufactured crisis. Like I believe this whole petrol crisis in the UK, I believe if the news didn't tell everybody there was a whole petrol crisis, there wouldn't have been one. Like nobody would have panicked and uh, there would have been no problem at all. So if everybody just stopped watching the news, our society would be doing much, much better as a whole. That's my personal belief. Maybe, maybe have a different belief. Let me know what you think. But yeah, if you've got some skills in the high content game, I would go and create a 20, 30,000 word book in one of these niches see how it goes and uh, you're going to have a great quarter fall with this because obviously the winter's coming these things and the news is only going to start spreading more fear as the winter comes in and i think this niche would definitely last into next year as well so this is not only quarter four but ongoing so yeah so i hope you enjoyed the video let me know what you got from it and yeah if you're going to publish in one of these niches and in this general theme then i wish you all the success in the world so make sure you like the video subscribe and i'll see you next wednesday for the next video They wanna count me out before